Listen to their sound. Listen. Look at that. Beautiful trains. Let's listen to the sounds. Like you people don't understand. The trains are so nice, you guys don't understand. Anyways. I'm gonna have to record oh shit, that sounds great. Have that steel wheels um hitting against the steel rails. That sounds too beautiful. Anyway, so I'm gonna have to try and memorize um this topic. Memorize everything. So I'm over looking at the train to see if the locomotive gonna show up. Okay no. I'm gonna try and memorize the Memorize my purpose three reasons why I am fine. No. Oh yes, I can't think. Oh yes, I should have looked at the notes before I recorded that clip. But I didn't know if the train was gonna be leaving or not. I could obviously go back and check and edit the video, but I don't feel like doing it. I think I'd rather just upload it as is. All of them and you know, real and stuff like that. Shit, what's the name? Let me hold on, let me think about this. Alright, there we go. I don't need a girlfriend. I could be happy on my own. Okay, I don't need one. Look, I may complain a lot about um talking about I don't have a girlfriend, I don't deserve one and stuff like that. The type of girlfriend I want and stuff like that. But I don't necessarily need a girlfriend. What I want is a wife, that's what I want. But I just don't need, and I don't require, you know, having female attention. I know I haven't had female attention pretty much ever in my life. So, that technically could be a reason why I'm just not that interested in or requiring a female's attention or whatever. Like, it's just not on my top of my, it's not really the top of my list. Obviously, I know, I'm tired. Riding this bike does make me tired sometimes. I know how, how I always talk about this. Because I've been yearning for this for a long time. This whole girlfriend or whatever. This whole lovey-dovey junk. These cliche coloring and all that junk. Which is really nice, by the way. I would like to experience that. Like, genuinely. Like, genuinely. I know I have all that constant feeling and stuff like that. You know, being on Instagram, seeing couples and stuff like that. Gym couples, especially. Yeah, all that all that nice stuff. All that nice stuff. That, you know, quote-unquote, normal people are doing. Obviously, yes, I always have that feeling. Like, man, what if I had a girlfriend? Man, what if I had somebody... And then on top of that being on Instagram, I'm seeing how these females with gouts and everything, these gym girls on gouts with gouts. Like this female could be mine. But I don't need a girlfriend. Like, I've done a bunch of traveling. I've done a bunch of traveling on my own. Like, I'm fine. Like, I don't, I don't require, I don't require a female for happiness. No. That's one thing. A lot of like, there's been a lot of a single trend or whatever. About people like saying like, "Oh, I'm so lonely and stuff like that. I'm a loner. I don't need no girlfriend." Well, I'm alone. I'm lonely. I need a girlfriend and stuff like that. I can't. I'm so used to being with somebody. I don't know. It's like being alone and stuff like that. This cop better not pull me over. He better not pull me over. Anyway, stuff. So. I was driving with me. My cheap or something. Are you recognize me or something? Anyway, so. Yeah, yeah. I, a lot of people just been. A lot of people can't seem to live without, you know, without being single. Like, singleness isn't that, isn't that bad. Like I said, I knew. I know that I've been single pretty much all my life. 
never having a girlfriend all that stuff but it's not that serious like i don't require that i don't need all this companionship and all that stuff to feel like i have a purpose in life i am still kind of looking for my purpose don't get me wrong i will find that out but but my purpose isn't in you know winning females and stuff like that and getting a poom poom or whatever i received some comment that i had to actually look and a health review, health review thing in my YouTube studio. And it said, you need to get some poo, some puss, something like that. Well, here's me responding to your comment. I don't need no puss. Nah, -uh. I don't need none. Look, I may be a virgin. And I may, at, at age 24, I may have all this sexual attention and hormones built up. I get that part, but I don't mean I should just go out there and get some. Like, that ain't all that serious either. If anything, if I was to entertain the idea of me needing a girlfriend, I would need one specifically for companionship, not sex. Companionship and love and hanging out together and doing all that bike riding, and all that, all that peaches and green sunshine and rainbows junk. That's what I want. The sex part, I don't, I don't really need that. And then I don't, and then even if, I wanted to, you know, entertain the whole sex part. That's just that. And then on top of that, it would be considered fornicating, which I'm not for. I'm not for fornication. And she better be a girlfriend, too. She, uh, I'm sorry. She better be a virgin, too. Now, now what are some benefits of me being single? I've been able to live single just fine is that my bike rope is not it's not <laughs> I'm, I've always even though I ride a bike right now I always say in some bike somebody riding or on someone's car I wonder is that my bike because I wonder is that my Scott's bike that was stolen because you know that was stolen like earlier this year it sucked it's raining so there definitely should not be someone in my spot Where was I? Shoot. I don't want to stop this video. Sorry. I don't want to. I don't feel like editing this. Because whenever. I try to just record right then and there. And then just upload. It's easier. Faster. Especially just uploading every single day thing. So yeah. Um, what, what percentage of my battery is? 37. My battery percent is going to be stagnant. Because it's actually charging right now. With this thing. Yeah, I got this at the airport. When I was going to my Los Angeles and Tampa, Florida trip. So yeah. So yeah. There's a lot of benefits of singleness. And I've been able to do that via all these vacations and stuff like that. I can fully focus on myself. I can fully focus on myself and that's cool. I like that. I don't have to maintain nobody. I don't have to maintain nobody. All I have to do is maintain myself. I don't have to sacrifice, make certain sacrifices for other people other than myself. I don't, um, I can go wherever I want. I can spend as much money as I want for myself. And yeah, I don't have to always get someone's approval, worry about where you're going. Even though I do deal with that with my modern parents. Even my childhood parents too. My biological parents don't do that junk. Ask me where you going all the time. But yeah. My seat gonna be wet, I know. It rained a little. Yesterday was the solar eclipse. Well at least partial eclipse. Like very partial. Yesterday. Hold up, let me set up and then write some notes. All right, set up. So I got a few talking points, so let's read them. Well, let's go through them. I'm not gonna read them as is. All right, first one, money. Oh my gosh, money is a big one. Maybe I should say that one for last. In fact, I may even do that. Emotions, let's just start with that, emotions. Man, look, me, the, the problem I have with, I don't need this, the problem I have with, um, I mean, it's not necessarily a problem, but 
one thing I will have to constantly worry about as if um, um, if I had to go for a girlfriend or whatever I would have to you know um, you know always maintain her emotions and including my own and like if she all and like for example if she's on her period she gonna feel some type of way you know you know I understand she on her period and stuff like that if she's you know you know on that time of the month she she might get mad she might get sad she might get super happy and stuff like that if I'm not giving her enough attention and stuff like that then then I all that's gonna be put on me and now I'm feeling upset and everything feeling everything either upset or overly happy or whatever are confused because she's all up in her emotions up and because because she's on that time of the month and everything so yeah you know and then like 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 I don't I mean it's not that I can't I don't know it's just it's not that I don't think I can con control her emotions or I'm trying to control her emotions no I just want her to be okay and stuff like that like her being up in her emotions stuff like that is something I, I don't want to deal with that it's not that I don't I don't need to deal with that. It's just I don't want to deal with that the constant change of emotions and stuff like that. But you know, females are females. They're 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 emotional. So there's that part. I don't really know if as far as emotions, but safety, safety. You know, if I if if I was the go for a girlfriend, I have to worry about safety and stuff like that. Um, if you want to, I'm messing with this. Um, safety, you know, it's not like I'm, I'm, it's not, it's not like that. I, don't, I don't want to keep her safe. Like it's just, not only I have to look, um, uh, keep myself safe. I need to keep her safe too. I have to do a little bit extra work to make sure she's okay. And don't get me wrong, I really do. I want to make sure she's safe. We think the reason why men always tell them females, excuse me, to um, excuse me, man. I got some um, mocha iced coffee from Dunkin' Donuts. So, yeah. Anyways, we think the reason why men are telling women to cover up so much. Why are you going outside like that? That's us trying to protect her. Men, we protect females at all costs. And, and, and if, if I got a, you know, if I had a girlfriend, I, w I would not want her dressing promiscuous. Even if, especially if she's going out on her own. So, yeah, you know. Okay, this video is about why I don't need a girlfriend. Okay, I don't. I don't need a girlfriend. I'm. I'm single. Anyway, so you know, that's just the extra cons of you know having to date and stuff like having to have a girlfriend and stuff like that. So yeah, you know, I mean, my safety is one thing. My safety is one thing, but hers is another. Like, it doesn't matter if I if I you know die or, die or anything. I'm more concerned about her. I will feel if anyone's gonna die. Me or my girlfriend, I would rather die. Why? Because at least she can still have children. Women and children first, okay? Yeah, okay, yeah. Women and children first. So, you know, she, she, she's, she's a woman, you know? It's the same thing, you know? <laughs> like, I, I'm protecting women. I want to protect women. I want to keep them safe and everything. But, you know, you know, just a little bit extra work. I got to make sure I'm alive too, you know? Even though, you know, <laughs> man. It is cold, and so my not nostrils or whatever doing this thing or whatever. So yeah, you know the whole safety thing. You know that's extra stuff. And then on top of that, I gotta worry about other men approaching her and stuff like that. And then you know the competition and stuff like that. It's not a thing. It's not like I can I can protect my girl or whatever. It's, it's just I just don't want to deal with it all together. So yeah, you know it's just easier to be single. And then on top of that, you gotta meet her standards. So let me not talk about her standards and stuff like that. I don't know what to say as far as that. Uh, money. Money. Um. Ah, oh man, that's a big one. Money. Oh, man. When it comes to money, uh, being single, all I have to do is worry about myself. I can go wherever I want and spend as much money for the most part. Um, as on myself as much as I can. I'll, I don't have to worry about no female and how, how she want to eat and what she want to eat and stuff like that. Uh, where she want to go, where she want to eat and stuff like that. All I have to do is worry about myself. Me, I be usually indecisive of what it is I want to eat. I usually go for whatever I'm, I'm feeling like or whatever, or whatever. And if not that, I just simply go for what I'm familiar with. Like today, I, I you know after work, you know I only work like seven hours, no six hours. Because I, 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 I was late to work, so yeah, there's that part. Ew, some tree things are getting on my stuff. Leaves are getting on my stuff. 
So yeah, anyway, so all, all, all I have to do is worry about myself and everything. And so, I mean, it's not like I'm taking myself out on dates or whatever. It's just, I'm just, I can, all I have to do is worry about treating myself or whatever. I can just, excuse me, man, spitting. I can just buy my own gifts. I can spend my own money and stuff like that. You know, I can just, you know, I don't have to worry about that. All right. If you have a girlfriend, if she have her own money, she could pay for her own stuff. I mean, yeah, that's true. But, you know, women these days, they expect, they be making all their own money and stuff like that. And they be expecting their boyfriends to pay for everything. Even if they have their own money and stuff. Yeah, all I have to do is worry about myself. I don't think they put no sugar in this. Yeah, I don't think they put no sugar in this. So, yeah. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much it, you know. The last one is traveling, you know. Traveling. Um, traveling, man. Oh my gosh, traveling. When females travel and get on airplanes, for whatever reason, they want to buy a, they want to bring a whole bunch of clothes. Like, that's so annoying. With me by myself being single, all I have to do is pack a little bit amount of stuff, and then I'm on my way. I try to keep. Me, whenever I'm going to the going um, traveling, whatever on the airplane, I try to keep as as much as bi this as big as possible. And that that as you know, that's all. Just a bag, two shirts, two underwears, two pants or shorts or whatever. And then I'm on my way, and I can and I can just simply buy my toothbrush or whatever, um, whatever wherever destination I go to. Females, they like to bring literally everything, a whole thing of luggage they like to bring the whole entire the whole entire closet <laughs> with them on the, on on the, um on on the airplane and everything like on a vacation like that's just a lot of that's just a lot of stuff oh i need to look real pretty and stuff like that y'all females y'all don't understand all you have to do is wake up and you and you be pretty just like that man we don't require so much for y'all females to look so nice oh we looking pretty for ourselves i mean that's cool but you looking pretty for yourself is kind of, um, it's kind of, you know, um, causing problems with, um, with like, like you could be late for the airplane just because she's too busy putting a whole bunch of clothes up and everything. A whole bunch of makeup and everything. Like, you know, yeah, you know, being single ain't, pro ain't bad at all. Like, I literally go to Six Flags by myself all the time. I travel to, um, I travel to, um, um, technically Chicago and you know Las Vegas you know for you know because I did go there by myself and stuff like that but I traveled on an airplane by myself to Los Angeles I went to Six Flags down there a few months ago back in October it was a very nice trip if I was with anybody a girlfriend a family anybody else like I said I have to deal with the safety the money the um people filling out any kinds of way up in the park whatever I don't have to worry about no people being scared of rides. All I have to do is jump in the line, jump in the line, and that's it. That's all I can do. And even if, and another thing, how like one well, another thing, I was in Six Flags a lot with you know with the crew back in 2019 is I got to use it and stuff like that. Like there are times where like Six Flags, no Six Flags Great America Day Three, my vlog on my um Saturday vlogs channel. I was in line for Raging Bull, the the B and M hyper coaster, 210 feet, I think. Um, 210 feet I was in line we was almost there we was almost there to the station to the platform and then my younger sibling my younger childhood sibling he had to use the bathroom so I had to get out of line I had to get out of line and then sacrifice my ride so he can go to the bathroom while they ro rolled the rolled the coaster and then another one six flies over Georgia no six flies great America day five that one I didn't record I only very have, have very small archive footage or whatever of that but Six Flags Great America Day 5. I was in line for Viper. Next thing you know, I got to use it. The same sibling. <laughs> Had to use it. I mean, I understand you waiting in line for a while and stuff like that. But, you know, that was, that was an issue. I'm over here trying to experience these rides and everything. But I, I decided, just, you know, whatever. Let me just sacrifice and just get on. Take him to the bathroom, whatever. So that's it or whatever. So, yeah. So yeah, you know, it was, you know, you know, people got to use it, people so thirsty and everything. And then that's another thing, being single. I don't, if we're walking places, I can walk up whatever speed I want. 
I go on any route I want and stuff like that. I can buy whatever I want, whenever I want. I don't have to worry about being judged exactly what it is I'm buying and stuff like that or how I'm buying stuff and stuff like that. So yeah, you know, there's a lot of benefits of being single. Now, I know I've just been on the tangent to kind of talk about females and stuff like that. Their problems, stuff like that, how they're high, they're high maintenance. This, they have to, I have to maintain women and stuff like that in a relationship, whatever. I know, but at the same time, you know, it, being single, like it, look, it ain't no big deal, okay? Like I'm having fun, okay, for the most part. <laughs> oh my gosh, for the most part, I'm having fun being single. I'm having fun, um, you know, going to, you know, traveling. That's the main thing, traveling and spending my own money wherever I want. Like for example, I've been, like I said, I already said, I've been to Los Angeles. I was able to record, you know, like a whole bunch of train videos down there that I, I'm yet to upload. No, I already upload all of them on YouTube. So, yeah, check out my Saturday Ray um, Coaster's channel, Coaster Third Rail, okay? I'm going to have to do something with that channel, whatever, channel name. So far, it's just Coaster Third Rail and then Saturday Ray. I'm going to have to really do something about that one. I might name it to Saturday Ray um, Rails or something like that. I don't know, Saturday Ray Tracks. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. But Coaster Third Rail is too good. If y'all have any ideas, I me mean, naming my roller coaster slash train channel, which is in the description. Um, uh, it's currently Coaster Third Rail slash Side Leader Ray. If y'all have any ideas, of what should I name it? Ideally, I want to keep it as Coaster Third Rail and Side Leader Ray, but I, they're technically kind of two different things. So, if you have any ideas, let me know in the comment section below. Um, yeah, so I was, I mean, I was able to get on all the rides I wanted. I, I, I don't have to worry about going, people being scared of rides and stuff like that. So yeah, and then my you know Tampa, Florida trip. When I went to Bush Gardens, Tampa, like how it's rainy right now. It rained. It like it rained that day. It rained that day. Yet I still went to the park. I went to the park anyway. Yep, I went to the park anyway, despite it was raining and stuff like that. I did in the vlog. It would be on my Saturday Ray Vlogs channel. Uh, I, I I got super wet, so I managed to just go all the way back to the um to, to my um to my hotel to you know change into my shorts. The reason why I changed into my shorts versus my pants because the pants was fully wet. My body gonna be wet the entire time, my legs and everything. So you know if I go in my shorts, the only thing that will be, be wet is just you know my tor not my torso, like you know my my hip area. My my legs are getting wet, and I don't mind about that. I don't mind because that'll dry anyway. So yeah, so I went to the park anyway when it was wet. If if I had a girlfriend, whatever, and then I really wanted to go to the park and she didn't want to because of the weather, that's gonna be a deal breaker. And if I go to the park by myself, and she and she decides to stay home, she's not gonna like that. Like, uh, don't you want to hang out with me? See, I know I talk more about the cons of being single and why I don't need a girlfriend or whatever. Um, but you know, that we if we just being honest, I mean, I don't know, you know. Yeah, I have to speak of the cons in order to understand the pros of being single. Like, I just don't have to worry about, you know, constantly telling people, telling her where I'm going and telling her, you know, I don't, you know, that, um, where, where you know, stuff like that. Well, if I want to do different things, stuff like that, stuff like that could bring lead to breakups or whatever. Lead to breakups. It's not that I'm going to break up with her. Okay. For the most part, it depends on it depends on um, her li kind of lifestyle. Um, but it's not that I'm trying to break up with her; it's that she gonna break up with me because she want to do different things, and she gonna be like, "You don't spend no time with me and stuff like that." So I'm breaking up, and she might even cheat on me because of that. So yeah, I don't know what to say. I know I don't know. I know I talked about females again, about women again, but you know I don't necessarily need a girlfriend. Look, I don't need p word. I don't need you know. I don't need sex. I don't need you know a female's attention to feel happy i'm happy i'm fine with 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 what I, with the life i have now i'm not no like i'm not no, like i don't need no girlfriend i'll be fine no, no I, i'm fine like it, i just don't i don't need i and one thing that people of my post childhood family like to say is uh ray i do i want to see you happy no girlfriend ain't gonna solve my happiness there my solve my happiness. She would bring happiness, yes. Especially considering I've been going to six flies by myself all the time, and it is starting to hit me. Don't get me wrong, but um, I I don't need a girlfriend to solve my happiness. I'm not relying. Basically, in conclusion, I'm not. 
The reason why I'm I don't need a girlfriend is because I, I a girlfriend is not going to make me happy. A girlfriend is not going to make me happy. All they're going to do a girlfriend not going to solve my problems. Not going to solve my problems like like make me feel good about myself, make me feel like you feel like a man or whatever, make me feel like a person, a human or whatever. I don't, you know, I don't I just don't need a girlfriend. I want to really really want a wife. I'll say it that way. I'm not going to say I need a wife or whatever. Maybe I do. Maybe I do need a wife, but but I don't know. So yeah. That's all I got to say. I don't know what else to say. Um like being single is fun, especially when it comes to traveling money, traveling in money. You're traveling in money, you know. So yeah. It's not that I don't want to travel. I don't want to travel with a female. Or, you know, spend money on a female. I do. I want to take care of a female. I would love to take care of a girlfriend. I would love to. I would love to spend a lot of stuff. You know, not, I don't know about spoiling her, per se. Because then, if she gets to... You know, one, one of these days, if I don't have the money, she can get upset. Maybe. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know, yeah. That's all I got to say. I don't know what to say. But I don't need a girlfriend. I would love one. I would love one. Don't get me wrong. Especially... You know, you know, having all this, you know, lovey-dovey stuff, cliche stuff built up in me, wanting, you know, to, you know, love, you know, kiss the girl, walk the park, ride bikes together. I have a bike conveniently. Ride the bikes together, you know, kiss under the mistletoe, shit, and all that junk. Consider I want to do all that stuff. All that stuff, you know, I'm, it's there. It's, I'm thinking about that literally every day. We think of it throughout most of my channels, I always talk about females, but... Yeah, especially seeing female, pretty females everywhere. Not everywhere, since I'm in Atlanta. So, <laughs> so yeah, um, slash Georgia or whatever. But yeah, you know, especially you can see pretty females every day. I literally seen. In fact, I seen a. I, I think I remember. And when, before I was about to clock out at work, I'm in this video with this. Before I was about to clock at work, I'm in the baby aisle, and I'm seeing a pretty blonde woman, a pretty short, not short, but pretty like. Um, short blonde woman with black leggings and a white sweater shirt and I, I, I didn't see her I didn't really see her face like her eyes or whatever but she had a pretty face from the side and I could see that she was pretty man I was like I was like bottom of my lips and everything like she's so pretty and everything so yeah I don't I didn't approach her firstly because I'm in the uniform and then um I'm in the uniform I'm not trying to you know worry about you know I'm um, sexually harassment and all that junk. Let me tell HR, you know. So yeah, even if I wasn't in my uniform, off the clock or whatever, I still wouldn't probably, you know, approach her because I'm not trying to get no girlfriend. Especially, especially considering I'm moving in June, moving out of Atlanta in June. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.